Hello, 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 and welcome to Growing and Chic. This is Adija. If this is your first time here. Thank you for joining us. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you for coming back. Growing and Chic is a fashion community where we help women find their best style and curate their forever wardrobe. Talking about wardrobes, I am sitting in my wardrobe. This video is a little different from anything I've done before. So I am actually trying to rearrange my entire perfume collection. I'm going to insert a video here showing you all of my perfumes on the floor. I am trying to rearrange it into this new cupboard, but it's not really new. I repurposed it. I had it somewhere else in my house and then I just brought it upstairs to my closet because I needed more space to rearrange my stuff. I discovered that I had some perfumes that I was not using because I just couldn't see them. <laughs> So I'm going to rearrange my entire collection and um, I'm also you know, on a voiceover because I can't be talking to y'all while I do this. I'll do a voiceover and just tell you guys my entire fragrance journey. So watch me arrange my collection and then I'll be telling y'all my fragrance journey. Let's do this. So I usually arrange my fragrances according to brands. Um, I put all of the brands together. I have seen people arrange their bottles by the, the season, by the kind of perfume, so either gourmand or freshy or whatever, or vanilla, or by notes. I've seen people arrange it in different ways. They go by different categories to arrange their perfumes. I usually arrange my perfumes by brand. So I'll put all of the Zerzhovs together, all the Nishanes together, all of the Manceras together. And there are perfumes also that I have just one from each house. For example, Maison Mataha. Maison Mataha has only one perfume in the entire lineup. So I'll put all of the ones that are solo dolo. I put all the solo dolos together. And then all of the other fragrances I just put together. That's There is really no special way of arranging my perfumes. So I thought of doing a voiceover, but I thought, huh, it's just going to be too much doing a voiceover. So I'm just going to... As I go, explain to you guys my perfume journey. So I have always been a lover of perfumes. I have always loved perfumes, but I always was not a collector. But for a long time, I really did love perfumes. I always was just, you know, interested in smell goods. You know, I always had my good designer perfumes that I always, you know, I would put a dab on when I'm going out. Um, for a long time, I, I, I can't remember the oldest perfume that I have in my collection is, I'm going to show you, this is the oldest perfume. As you can see, I'm just keeping this one now for sentimental reasons. It's from Lanver. It's called Low by Lanver. And it's not a good quality perfume. <laughs> but I keep this for emotional reasons because this is like my oldest ball of perfume. This perfume is about 13 years old. That's how old it is. I have had it for a very long time. So I've always had perfumes that I love, but I was not a collector then. And then my love of perfumes also became a little stronger when I met my husband and I discovered that my husband was very turned on by good smells. <laughs> and it was really kind of like, uh, I don't know, it went from, you know how when you meet a new guy and you discover the things that he likes and you want to do the things that make him happy and I knew that he was really, like my husband is, you, you want to get his attention, smell good. Now I'm putting all my secrets out there. He ain't coming for you, boo. <laughs> but, um, yeah, he's very attracted to good smells. So I definitely started getting a little bit more, um, more into, you know, making sure that I smelled the part because it just was something that I knew that made him excited. So that's how I really, like, it improved, it increased my, my love for perfumes. But the moment when I turned from a perfume lover to a perfume collector, I think it was 2018. And let me show you the perfume that got me into it. Uh, this, Like I said, this video is a little choppy, so forgive me. I've never done a vlog style video. This is my first attempt, and I'm sure it's gonna be so weird. And by the way, my closet is messy. If you talk about my closet, I'll talk about your mama. Don't talk about my closet. I know it's messy, I understand, I get the process. I'm working on it, okay? But let me show you what got me into collecting perfume so if you've been on my channel for more than 30 minutes you would know that i'll be showing you this 2018 i fell in love with this niche perfume this was my introduction into niche perfumery and um i'm going to reference my husband a little bit that's my bestie but anyway <laughs> um he always says that i have an addictive personality if i like something i love it and if i don't you will not doubt that i don't um and so when i fell in love with niche perfumery 
I decided to start researching niche perfumes. What was it about niche perfumes? What made it different? You know what I'm saying? And um, I just started going down the rabbit hole. And the more I found out about niche perfumes, the more I fell in love and I just started collecting. And um, that was 2018. Yeah. 2018. No. Yeah. And so I do I have a process of adding stuff to my collection? Right now, I really don't. Um, I definitely went a little wild during the pandemic <laughs> because perfumes at that time was my source of joy. I'm sure that we all suffered from some form of depression at that time. We all suffered from some form of just life was weird. You know what I'm saying? Being stuck in the house. But the UPS guy was going to work so I could order online and get it delivered. And I went wild during the pandemic. Like all I did was go to Fragrantica, research perfumes, and then blind buy. Like I did so much blind buying at that time. It was crazy. If I did not clean out my closet, like my perfume closet and sell out some of the things after the pandemic, I'd have had about 500 perfumes in my collection. But when I started understanding notes and I started appreciating perfumes more, there were some perfumes that just were not in my scent profile and I started selling them out and I started deciding the things that I wanted more and I started recognizing the notes that I like. I'm definitely a vanilla girly. I'm definitely a tuberose girly. I like white florals. I love white floral. I like when a oud, oud perfume is done well. Maison Francis Kirkjean does oud well. Fragrance du Bois does oud well. And so I like when um, oud perfume is done well. I also like, there's so many notes that I like that when I recognize, I try to, you know, lean, lean into them and I research them. And so I'm at the point there where that when, I'm, when I finish cleaning this, I want to start testing my perfumes. I don't want too many perfumes that smell exactly the same. I think I have two or three that remind me of one another that I am going to declutter from my perfume wardrobe. But yeah, um, collecting has really been fun, just discovering new brands. What I want moving forward in my collection is I want to explore Arabian perfumes. I don't have any Arabian perfumes and I'm not a snob of Arabian perfumes. I just have never tried them. What I don't want to add in my collection is that I don't want to add dupes. And this is no shade to people who do dupes. It's my collection. I have a right to have a preference and I prefer to not have dupes in my collection. And my reasoning for that is that I believe I look at perfume as a form of art. And so if somebody has worked into putting, into creating an art piece and then somebody else copies it, it's to me, an insult to the person that created the original. And to some people, it's not that deep. Like some people, it, it, it ain't that serious. Um, I will recommend you a good dupe if you're looking for one. I will recommend you a good dupe. I smell them all the time. I just choose not to add them in my collection. And it's no tea, no shade to anybody. It's just my choice, my preference. So now that I'm done rambling, I'm going to shut up and just film the rest of me putting this stuff where they belong, okay? So guys, I am done arranging my perfume wardrobe and I'm going to turn around and show you what I did, okay? So right now my full collection is 146. And like I told you guys, I started collecting in 20, 2018. So we are about eight years in right now. Um, anyway, so these are all of my amouages right here. And then it's followed by my Roja Parfum. So there's Roja Parfum and then there's my one um, Maison Lanvin back there just to complete this line. Um, and then I have Maison Francis Kirkjean right here. And then I have a few that have, I have just a few of them. So this one is Atelier des Ors. And then this one is, what's the name of this house? Oops, Atelier Cologne. 
So Atelier Cologne, and then this is Paco Rabanne. And this was what always happens. I mess it up just like I arrange it. This line is the Chanel. I still have the Chanel over there and over here. And then I have this one Lama by Kajal to complete this line. This line is full of Dior. This is Perfum Roma. And behind the Perfum Roma, I have two mise en sales back there. And then this line is Mancera. This is Mancera. I have my one and only Creed and one and only Montel back there. This line is just a mixture of different fragrances. So this is Tijota. This is Orchestre de Parfum. This, that is um, a Christian Louboutin back there and all of that. This line is Mugler. So this is all my Mugler perfumes. This line down here is the Killian's. Killian comes up to here. And then this one is, um, it's an indie line actually. What's it? Okay, Gallagher fragrances, um, an indie line. They make really good fragrances. And then back there, I have um, what's it called again? I forgot. I'm blanking out today. It's a Bianco Latte. And then this line is just a mixture of different things that I have. So this is um, Maison Crivelli right here. This is Nobile. Um, this is Narcotic V. And so this one, I don't have a lot of them, as you can see. I have just a few bottles of. Each perfume house. This is um, um, for the mal right here. So down here, I have my fragrance du bois. So the first and second line is fragrance du bois. Um, this the line at the end is um, it's um, Tiziana Terenzi, and so it's a mixture of what I have down there. And then over here, I have my Zerjovs over here. So I have. I think Zerjov is the house that I have the most perfumes from. I have 12 perfumes from Zerjov. So Zerjov is definitely up there in a house that I really like. But my favorite house is Nishani. But I have 12 Zerjovs. I have um, Stefan Umber Lucas here, two of them. I have my one Maison Mataha right here. Um, back there, I have um, Memo Paris and then my one was in the Mateo. Down here at the bottom, this is the final section. Um, I have my Tom Fords and then I also have my Guerlain's and then here's just a mixture of um, Martin's Mikalev and, um, and Versace. So this is, this is all the stuff that I have. Um, it's just uh, I've been collecting for a long time. So I was saying I've been collecting for a long time. This is my eight year mark count back. I don't know what year it started, but I definitely know that this is my eight year mark. Um, of collecting perfumes and I like I said I don't drink I don't smoke this is what I do for my personal pleasure did I tell you guys about my Parfum de Mali this is my Parfum de Mali right here this line here is just full of Parfum de Mali anyway yeah but this is what I do to entertain myself this is what I do to reward myself and make myself happy I don't buy perfumes every day I cannot afford to do that <laughs> There are times when I go for three months and don't buy a perfume. There are times when I go for six months and don't buy a perfume. But there are times when I find good deals. I go to Lucky Scent. I go to um, Scent Split. I I go to even um, uh, um, discount houses. I go through discount houses. I also go through um, resale markets. Sometimes I'll go through resale markets and I have swapped some perfumes over there with some people on resale. I sell my old clothes on Poshmark and I buy my perfumes and I've just been building my collection. Now, would I advise anybody to have this many perfumes? No, <laughs> absolutely not. Um, but if that's what you like, then find something that you like and do it. Do it often, to make you happy. Um, I've been asked a few times on my channel to show my entire collection and yeah, that's my crazy. What is yours? Have a good day. I love you. Thanks for watching. Bye.